Welcome back. It's now time for us to do the second recipe, which, as I promised before, is called Aki and Saltfish. Remember I told you it's, it's the national dish of Jamaica. And to do Aki and Saltfish, we need some saltfish and some Aki's. This is about four ounces of saltfish and one can of ackee. Now, ackee grows on a tree. It's not the ackee that we know in Barbados. This one grows on a tree about 25 feet tall, and it, it's about the size of a pear, not an avocado, and it bursts, it splits open on the tree to reveal some cream-colored flesh with some black seeds. And we can buy it in the can, and this is what it looks like. So I have got one can of ackee here. It sort of resembles scrambled egg. Then we've got some garlic and some onions. This is about five cloves of garlic and, and it's been minced and one medium onion that's also been minced. And this is a fairly large tomato that's been diced. We also need some margarine or butter, whichever you prefer, about an ounce and a half if you want to watch your cholesterol and, and, you, and your fat intake, well then you will cut it down a little bit more. But tonight we're not worried about that. And of course, we must have some pepper sauce. And in this case, we've got some Tropical Inferno, which is a carambola pepper sauce. It's got some heat, but it's also got a lot of flavor. To get started, I need to put some fire here. And I need to melt a little bit of this butter. Heat it up. Now remember I said ackee and saltfish is the national dish of Jamaica. And it's not necessarily served at Easter time. But it's also a great hors d'oeuvre. And the way that it's served as an hors d'oeuvre is in the, in the form of, you know those little boucher shells, the little pastry shells that are only about this big? They put ackee and saltfish into those and they serve them at cocktail parties. And also, you can make quiche with ackee and saltfish. So it's not just what I'm going to show you tonight that it can be used. Melt the butter, which will take only a few seconds to warm up. And once that's melted, I can put in the garlic. Have you ever been in a kitchen when garlic and onions are sauteing? Oh, it smells so good. As a matter of fact, when I was in England, there was a particular stall that I used to pass by in the market on Saturday mornings. And it, it had such a wonderful smell coming from it and they were serving hot dogs. And I could not imagine what were they doing to make hot dogs smell so good. It was only until after a long time that I realized that it was onions that they were frying. Nothing but onions. But the smell of frying onions is just wonderful. Okay, here we go with the onions. Now this is really going to light a fire, this kitchen, with some smell. Oh, smell that. I wish you were here to share this with me. This is so good. Saute this for just a few minutes until the onions become a little bit transparent. And then we can add the tomatoes. So here we go, in with the tomatoes. Remember this is about a pretty large tomato that's been diced. And this is going to take a little bit longer to cook down. Okay, so now it's time for the salt fish. And in you go. Normally, I would use some bacon in addition to the salt fish. But because we're holding true to the, the seafood theme tonight and Easter and everything else, I'm going to use the salt fish alone. As a matter of fact, ackee gets its flavor for any kind of salted meat that you add to it. So we could have used 
even smoked mackerel or, or red herring, anything like that, and it would have been great. But we're going to go with salt fish alone. And I'll just toss that around for a little while. This is pretty nicely sauteed. And then here we go with some ackee. Now the ackee is very, very delicate. And we can't rough it up at all. Okay. Last but not least, some tropical inferno. Remember we're in the Caribbean. So we must have a little bit of heat. And I told you this had a sting, but it also had some flavor. Now to prevent the ackee from smushing too much, you'll notice that I've put the spoon aside and I'm gonna use two forks just to toss it gently, gently, gently. Because I don't want it to, to mush up. And the ackee will absorb all the nice flavor that we have put in here. And then I'll let it simmer for just a few minutes. That's it, see, it's all mixed. Huh? It's a very gentle movement. Huh? The spoon would have just destroyed it. There you go. And that can simmer for a few minutes. I think this ackee is pretty much done, so I'm gonna serve it up. And what am I serving this ackee with today? You will never guess. Cuckoo. Some friends of mine taught me to do this. They call it Caribbean unity. So we're gonna combine Jamaica with Barbados. So we've got ackee and saltfish. Let me just cut the heat on that. With cuckoo. And of course, a little bit of salad. And there we go. Isn't that great? Wouldn't that be nice for Good Friday or Easter Monday or any occasion like that? And I'm sure your family will be happy to, to have something different for Easter this year.